We're here with Democratic strategist and host of the Politics War Room podcast, James Carville, and host of the Rubin Report on YouTube and Rumble, Dave Rubin. Okay, here are the questions for Dave. What did you think of Elon Musk's trip to Israel? Do you think he no longer harbors anti-Semitic and conspiratorial beliefs? Oh, well, he never had anti-Semitic or conspiratorial beliefs in the first place, but well, Elon Musk is not an anti-Semite. There are plenty of anti-Semites out there. You called a whole bunch of them out during the show. I mean, Elon Musk going to Israel is sad. They see, but they do believe Whoa. Elon Musk, so him going saying I saw the 47 minutes of footage he's wearing dog tags of uh, you know from one of the families okay well who lost their kids I mean it could, there's a lot of anti-semites out there but Elon Musk is not one of them okay, that may be true I I, I, I mean <laughs> look he's a hard guy to follow all the time I've tried and the one this thing did test my patience with him because he may not be an anti-semi but when someone tweets what they tweeted right. and he tweets you have spoken the actual truth it looks really anti-Semitic. So, yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how in the weeds you want to get on the comment, but the comment well, was yeah, really, well, the uh, comment, We do, what the is comment, the comment? The, the comment that he was responding to was about that there are left-wing, thought of as Jewish organizations like the ADL, that are aiming their fire the wrong way right. all the time, so they're attacking him, right? As opposed to attacking the people that, they, that are actually no, anti-Semites, like the lefties. All right, that my understanding of it was that he was supporting the idea yeah. that what we heard when you yeah, mentioned you're, you're exactly right. It was the greatest act of Jew washing I've ever seen. <laughs> he said something like that. <laughs> I, no, yeah, no, I've never I, heard that term. Well, I mean, it's what, it's what you do when you, you screw yeah, oh, up. I, oh, you I go, get it. I, I, right. If I say anything, I mean, mm. come on. I, look, I have no, no idea. The last thing I want to do is pick a fight with a guy worth a trillion dollars. But <laughs> that dude is weird, man. I'm, I'm going to tell you, yeah. that's something I'm not doing. Uh, James, uh, you famously said it's the economy, stupid, but voters seem to be responding to positive economic news Voters don't seem to be responding to positive economic news in the polls. How do you explain this? Well, you know, you got 60% of the Republicans who believe the Earth is 6,000 years old. Oh, that's all not right. a good but answer. It, well, I'm, I'm just saying, you say the polls, okay. all right, you, you look with 5.6% growth. All right, I, I, by any record, now, if people don't feel it. And I, look, I think, I think we, should, we should have made a change. I, 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 you and I agree on that. And I don't know how much of it is is that they can't see beyond the president. If, uh, I mean, a cost of living has, ha has hurt people. But you just can't look at this economy and go out and say this is a bad economy. You, I, that's impossible. But that's not really what you want to tell the voters. Well, I, yes, the, I, but I'm not running for office, Bill. I'm, asking, I'm answering a question okay, on a television show. <laughs> if I wasn't answering the okay, same but way, you're, but you're, but you're, uh, The reason why you're on a television show is because you're a known strategist. So right. what we're asking for your strategy, and your right. strategy seems to be to tell the voters you don't know what you're talking about. Well, I, and I, I don't think that's say, a good way I, to get elected. Not, and I'm not I, a strategist. I would, I would not say that. But you can't. <laughs> you just said it to me. <laughs> okay. but, he, he's but, not but running I, for office. I, I mean, know, look but at the people, I, here's, I, here's what I think it is. People, the things that, like, you can cite the statistics. And yes, inflation is going down. It's going in the right direction. But the things that pe the things people buy every day in this country, bullets, eggs, <laughs> gas. Ga gas is down. Yeah, not here. I got, I'm, well, I'm just telling you, the price of gas, yes, we, it, we produce right. more, we pump more oil than we ever have in history. Anyway, we pump more oil in Saudi Arabia. All right, just so you know that. But if you ask people, you know, do you think that the, the Democrats and Biden is, you know, oh, yeah, of course he is, 100%. It, it, I can't, the fact that people believe something doesn't make it a fact. There's a big story in the Wall Street Journal of that. The crime rate has dropped significantly. Try to tell, I, I, I argue with someone, but the, the, the crimes per 100,000, I think, was 738, and you're down to 362 or something like that. Yeah, you you got, I gotta sit here and act like I'm a factual klutz because somebody bleeds something that's not true? I, I don't buy that. Okay. Well, then we'll move on. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So, uh, Mike Johnson, he's from your home state of Louisiana, oh. the Speaker of the House. I read today he wrote a foreword in a book right. that describes to conspiracy theories and homophobic insults. I thought, Mike, Mike Johnson wrote the foreword to the Bible? Uh, <laughs> do you think Mike Johnson can hold his party together now that he has taken the mantle? Well, first of all, I don't think he can hold his party together. Second of all, you're exactly right. Mike Johnson and what he believes is one of the greatest threats we have today to the United States. And when when I'm I, I, I the, promise you, I know these people. Well, you're talking about Christian nationalism. That's that absolutely. Talking about this, is, this, is a, right. this is a, a bigger <clears throat> threat than Al Qaeda uh, to this country. They, and let me tell you something. They're Speaker of the House. They got probably at least two Supreme Court justices, maybe more. Right? Don't kid yourself. And, and people in the press have no idea who this guy is, how he was formed, what the threat is, and this is a fundamental threat to the United States. It is a fundamental threat. They don't believe in the Constitution. They'll tell you that. He, they, Mike Johnson himself says, what is democracy but, but two wolves and a lamb having lunch? Uh, that's what they really, really, really believe. And to say, oh, come on, man, that's just some crazy shit. No, no. They, they believe that. And they're coming, and they've been doing it forever. They're funded. They're funded. They're yeah. relentless. And, you know, they probably won't win for a while, but they might. So and if just, they do, you, it's, you blow, the whole country blows a gas. You just have to look at that painting. I think it's a Kincaid painting that a lot of them like, where Jesus is handing the Constitution to well, uh, Thomas sure. Jefferson. I mean, <laughs> if you could look at that and go, hmm, that's the way it probably happened. <laughs> I know it. I know that wasn't it well. a photo. That, that, that is photo. no. Um, is the rise of anti-immigration Dutch politician Gert Wilders? Ah, I remember interviewing him yeah. for Religious. Yeah. Way back in yeah, yeah. 2007, a warning to the liberals in America that they need to take our immigration crisis more seriously. So, if you don't follow the story, Gert Wilders, he'd been running forever in Holland. Uh, I, you know, of course, the New York Times calls him a far rightist. They call all these people. I mean, Maloney. Uh, in Italy is another one. Um, Viktor Orban is kind of a far rightist in Hungary, um, but not. I think some of them are just Brexit and England was part yeah. of this. People are feeling they are not uh, welcome almost in their own home because of the kind of uh, immigration that these people are fighting against. So well, most of these people are not far right by any way that we would think of far right in that they like that they're racist. I, I actually met with Orban in Budapest and I talked to him for a little while and all he kept saying was, you know, I love Hungary. That's all. I love my people. I love my country. That's it. I don't know what accent that was, but that that basically <laughs> That's, that's I, I, a dead-on impression of him. Uh, um, but, can, you, can you do his but, walk? Yeah, he kind of, um, there's a little bit of a waddle. But, but all of these guys, Gert Wilders, he wants Holland to be for the Dutch, right? Like, that's, that's what, what that's he what wants. Wilders. When we see, that's racist. That's what they would tell you, right? No, no, no. Wait, you meant that literally? Or no, no, no. Right? I'm just, no. I don't know what we're talking about. But um, <laughs> I was just going to say, Dutch for the Dutch, uh, I would amend that if it was me. Dutch values. No, Dutch values. You don't have to course. be actually Dutch. You don't have to be white. That's what I think is great about America. Of it's course. the idea. As long as you f subscribe to our ideas, which again, to your point and what I was saying at the end of the show, that we're not a Christian nation, that's not what is, is a country where we have the First Amendment, then everybody should be welcome. No, of course. It's not about skin color, but it is about culture. So Col what happens is matter. all of these people, whether they're in France or Belgium or any of the countries that you just mentioned, they're realizing, wow, we've got literally millions of people in our borders that are chanting for genocide and gas the Jews and the rest of it. And by the way, it doesn't stop with the Jews, right? I mean, they were at the Christmas tree in Times Square yesterday or two days ago. So people are realizing that, and they're looking for anybody, and for some reason they always come with crazy hair, that will, that will fix some of this stuff. So I, 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 I kind of have trouble. I think your question was, is the election in, in the Netherlands, is that somewhat a harbinger of a for Do you want a short, truthful answer? Along? Yes. Yes. It does. <laughs> okay? It does. It, yeah. Because people, but, but understand this, people like immigrants, okay? Right. What they don't like is disorder. And when you become the disorder party, whatever it is, you pay a price. Now, 
One of the reasons that we have been this problem, this is what 3.6% unemployment does for you. You think we're the only people that know that? Or you think, and by the way, somebody, if you got a woman that lives in Honduras, and she walks with a 10-year-old and a 6-year-old to the Mexican border and wants to come in this country, come on in, lady. You're a motivated person. We need you. Period. No, All right. no, okay. you can't come. Yeah, we have, you, we have a border. Yeah, we have a border. We yeah, have a country. Yeah, yeah, I, you, you either have a country or you every, don't. I every mean, border it, had refugees. Every border has asylum. Yeah, but you can't just okay, let them I'm, walk I'm in. Sorry. That's what I'm, the issue is. I'm for a six... Somebody walks with two kids 600 miles to come in this country. I got a job for you, lady. Come see me. All right. Find me one roofer in Florida that was born in the United States.